All right, here with Jeff Mayweather. Uh, Jeff, this past weekend, Conor McGregor turned to the to the cage against Dustin Poirier, the third fight of their trilogy. Uh, thoughts on the fight and how it played out? Well, um, kind of played out like I thought it would. That Conor would come out fast, and Dustin would actually, at some point, take him down. And once he took him down, that the fight was pretty much going to be over. So the first fight, Connor, clear victory. Last fight, um, Poirier kind of came out on top. Of course, Connor in camp for Pacquiao, training for that, not really for an MMA fight. It showed, unfortunately, during the fight, and he came up in the short end of that. Uh, once again, this is the third fight. Uh, Luck's not on Connor's side. Um, first first round, very close. They both had their, yeah, their moments. Close. Uh, <laughs> at, at, towards the end of the round, Poirier was getting his in, but Connor righted the ship right before the end of the bell. Unfortunately, stepped back. Uh, broke his leg, probably costing himself a victory. Um, how is that going to play with him mentally going forward? Well, I mean, I think that Connor is going to use that. He's definitely going to use that to his advantage because I think Poirier got his, has his number now. And basically, he broke his leg. It's on his don't own. make his different. Do I don't make his different. It makes no difference. How does he have his number if he broke his own leg? He broke his own leg, but he got his ass whooped, and he was getting he was getting ready to get he was just getting ready to get fucking uh, submitted. They were standing. How was he gonna get submitted? He was getting his ass whooped too. It was a it was a pick him round. He was getting his ass whooped. It wasn't the, the second round. Yeah. How the fuck, how the, how you how is it when you on the ground almost fucking three minutes of the round? But when they were standing on the feet, Connor was getting much more the best of it. And at the end of the round, when he Connor didn't like, do shit after he after he got up. He didn't do nothing but fall up and he stepped backward and broke his ankle. If you have, I mean, you have a little bias considering the fact that obviously Connor has. Like, it ain't got shit to do with that. It ain't got shit to do with that. I'm going by what I saw, and what I saw is basically, um, came out. Connor came out, but like I said, I think that the one thing is this: I think that Connor is going to come back. And grab another big payday, and then just quit box, quit quit um, UFC altogether, because with him losing in that way, in that it doesn't, and then we can see he already got a built-in excuse once he loses again, because the ankle didn't heal or whatever it is, it did never heal, so he already walking in with a built-in ex a built-in excuse to lose. You said, but you know, he obviously he got paid very well to fight Floyd. And the, and the one thing that amazed me about Connor is, much like Floyd, um, oh shit, he ain't shit like Floyd. No, is that they both, no, no, they no, both no, got no. paid and they've been able to keep that same no, drive and hunger and that same, same <laughs> where's, level where's drive? How many times he got his ass whooped since it, since that fight with Floyd? Well, like I said, this one okay, here, How many times have he got his ass whooped? He had a fluke injury here. Yeah, the time okay. before that, he wasn't <laughs> even training for an MMA fight. He was training for Manny Pacquiao. But the fact he was. That, of course, they were trying to set that fight between Manny Pacquiao and himself, and then that got thrown out, so he, had to, he went by Poirier. fact is that he's a war willing to fight anybody. He kept that hunger much like Floyd has, which is very impressive for guys. He kept no fucking hunger him. like Floyd. <laughs> Shit. Well, but, I mean, Floyd, was a guy that, Floyd was a goddamn multi-millionaire, and Floyd still was fighting top fighters in the world and, and winning. The second he fucking unless, fought... Unless the second, Connor. The, the second... <laughs> Oh my God, my stomach hurt. <laughs> but the thing is this, is that I think that Connor actually kind of did kind of like Andy Ruiz. He got too much money. I ain't gonna say he got too much money too soon because that's what it's about. That's what you want. Everybody wants to get paid. And so basically, but I just think that a lot of times when you get paid that kind of money, and especially, you know, and from his background, I mean, he started on welfare and this and all that. And I mean, it's great. I mean, it's great that he 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 reached the pinnacle of his of his sport and became the biggest name in his sport. But at the same time, I think that once he made that hundred million dollars, we didn't see the same counter ever again. Well, like I said, a couple of fluke things. But turning the on the other side of the coin, there, you know, you talked about Connor being able to turn this into another payday in our fight. Uh, Dustin, I mean, Connor, I don't think you're going to argue me, is the, the biggest name in MMA, MMA history. So, Poirier, isn't this kind of a chance for him to get that third fight, right? If this fight had gone on, Connor 
roll to a victory, you know, then Dustin Poirier kind of fades in the background, right? This of way course. he gets another chance at Conor McGregor. He can, he can, uh, he can cash you know, in too. a legitimate victory over Conor. Legitimate shit. He already, the last, the last victory, he knocked him out cold. Shit, I don't know how, how, how I don't know how much, I don't know how much convincing it could be. Well, like I said, you know, for the third time that, you know, Conor was not preparing for that fight. You look at the first fight when he was, you saw the results there. Um, hmm. Moving on, um, what do you think? Well, yeah, did you see the other post? What did you think of uh, Poirier's comments after the fight? It seemed like he's very bitter um, um, towards Connor, not very happy with him. Um, you know, Connor's well, I mean, down no. there hurting, you know, hurting. He's got a broke snap leg, and, and, and Poirier's kind of you know, him. kind of rubbing Fuck salt. Fuck him! Him. him. I mean, he, he he talked all that shit during the build up. Yeah, that's the build up. So, well then, so that's why Poirier. I mean, because the one thing is this: Poirier didn't say anything to Connor until he made sure the talking belongs to me now. Fuck you. And that's what he did because he whooped his ass and then basically, and he was bitter about it. He was bitter about the fact that all the things that Connor was saying and so, so he spoke his piece. See Floyd bet 50,000 on Poirier, he got a little, a little cash back on that. Oh, that was nice. Got a little help by the uh, betting gods there. So, <laughs> betting God. <laughs> so, so what do we see with uh, so Connor? You think he'll come back and fight Poirier? And I think that, we see him in a boxing again. Will he get a Pacquiao or a Floyd again? No, I think that I, I think Floyd will not want to fight him. I again, think, obviously. of course not. <laughs> I think, I think that basically, Connor is really done. I think he's done, but I think that just because of his status, he will come back and get another. 10, 20 million dollar payday. I think that that will happen. And it makes sense. It makes sense to, unless he has an injury that really, you know, hamper his career where he can never come back. All right, last question. And please, let's, let's be honest here. Um, you know, not, I'm not obviously related to Floyd, so you know, it's hard for you to be impartial. Be impartial here. Six round fight. Mm -hmm. All right, boxing rules, six round fight. Who wins, Floyd or Connor? Fuck out of here. <laughs> for, for, he won. For, he clearly for, won the first for, six rounds. Floyd would knock his ass out any round he wanted to. Then why didn't he the last fight? Because I ain't gonna tell you the secret to that one. Because <laughs> there is the, so, but clearly at six rounds, Connor was ahead. So you know, what? Different. I didn't. I didn't know that. Did anybody give Floyd the I first seen, three rounds? Even though I seen, that thing that Floyd won. I seen. I seen. Um, I didn't see Connor really do nothing at all. Floyd the whole like entire fight. The first three rounds of the he, he was like he, he fucking trying to flap, slap Floyd on the back of his fucking head. I ain't never seen Connor do shit in that fight. Nothing. All right. Well, I tried, Jeff. Appreciate yeah, I know it. you tried. You want to see Connor he, get back? Are you excited to see him back? I don't give a fuck about Connor. Shit. He was talking shit about me. Fuck Connor. He got his ass whooped. <laughs>